Thank you so much again, Sereng, and for that beautiful prayer. Um, just to say that it was uh, as very happy that everyone is now here. Uh, we'll do, s and it's okay to applaud for what they just did. So if you want to thank them for their sharing, it's. A few housekeeping things that it wouldn't be an event with, for, about Henry without a lot of technology, which uh, we've got in full force. And to let folks know, if you didn't know, that the entire ceremony is being streamed live over the web. So, uh, which is perfectly all the way to wherever you are, Henry, you're coming, coming there. And uh, also, that also means it would be great if you have one of these that perhaps you could turn the ringer off, amazingly. None have gone off yet, but if you have one, please turn off the, the ringer. And also, we encourage you not to use flash photography just because it, it will interfere with the streaming. So just to say that um, I was briefly introduced by Mark, and it's truly an honor, and I want to thank Virgilia and Patrice and the family for asking me to uh, help uh, carry on the celebration today. I did meet Henry in 1986, as Mark said, when I was looking for a home for a calligraphy show on nuclear disarmament and world peace. And Mark told me that uh, Henry had just opened a new gallery space on Sacramento Street, and that might, he was looking for exhibits. So it seemed like a, a perfect thing. Uh, at the time, I was about to go to graduate school and study U.S.-Soviet foreign policy. And I thought that I would do this for, uh, get the show up while I was applying to school. And then once the show went up, um, and it's very appropriate for today, we had a huge opening. And Gil Friend, I don't know if he's here. Gil, you're probably here somewhere. Had, I was working with the Foundation for the Arts of Peace. And it was Mother's Day, and 200 people came. It was a huge event. And at the end of it, Henry turned to me and said, we should have people here every single day, just like this. <laughs> and I said, that's a great idea. And then he said, you know, Henry had a fabulous method of speaking in very short phrases. And then he said, and you should do it. <laughs> and uh, I said, well, OK, that's a great idea. And um, we came up with a plan for three months to fill the gallery. And then in those three months, I discovered that um, why go study US-Soviet foreign policy when it was happening at 3220? So the next four years, uh, I worked with Henry and the family and others to create as many events around both ending the Cold War, but also supporting our local community of uh, non-governmental organizations, spiritual communities. A anybody who was doing anything that was interesting seemed to walk through the doors of 3220. And at that same time, at the very first event, uh, it came time to open and welcome people. And I said, oh, Henry, OK, let's set up a mic. Would you please welcome everyone? He said, no, 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 you do that. Uh, and I said, well, do you want to say anything? He said, no. No, I really don't. And um, when it came time to thank him, which many of you will know, and to say, thank you, Henry, um, he was nowhere to be found. <laughs> and in fact, he'd left the room and said, no, that's fine, but I don't need to hear that. It's just, I, you know, we're just doing it. And so actually, one thing I thought I would just give ourselves an opportunity, because he's also, he's in the room, but he's not in the room. And so he won't get mad if I ask everyone all at once just to say, thank you, Henry. Let's try that one more time all together. One, two, three. Thank you for all the amazing times that we all had together. I also want to say that in just all the efforts he supported, I know everyone in this room is touched in different ways. And you come from many communities. Uh, how many people here knew Henry in his Lawrence Berkeley lab days? And how many people here knew him from 3220? And how many from the US-Soviet uh, citizen diplomacy world? And how many people actually had Henry typeset your programs? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and I could go on and on. And, and of course, we've met Henry's family. And how many folks were actually related to Henry in some way? So a lot. And uh, I guess, and how many people wish they were related to Henry? <laughs> <laughs> So to Virgilia and to the family, we all share uh, the prayer that we just heard is about helping the soul move in transition to the next world. And it's also to help us move in transition to a new reality of without having Henry with us on this plane, even though always he was 
just like at 3220. He was in the room, but he was outside the room. Once we took a photograph, some of you will remember, of all the groups working on U.S. Soviet foreign policy and different kinds of social change efforts, and it took weeks to set up the photo. It was for a magazine in Germany, and when it came time, there were about 55 of us on the roof next to the satellite dish at, Henry, at 3220, and Henry was nowhere to be found. <laughs> and we looked for about 15 minutes, and the photographer finally said, the light's changing. We have to take the photo now. And for many years, that photo hung right at the entrance to uh, 3220, and it was about, how many people here were in that photograph? There were a lot, but Henry wasn't in the picture. He was determined that, uh, oh, he just wasn't gonna be in the photo. That it was, imp imp make, never asked for credit for all the work he did to support so many of us to do the things that we were trying to do. So I also want to say, since there's people here from all walks of life, there was things were always surprising. So we'll have a lot of mystery today, things that will come forward. We'll, everyone will have a chance, and we'll take an intermission after some speakers. The second half will have a chance for very short uh, remembrances of Henry. And I want to say there's always a surprise. When I came in today, I saw my neighbors from across the street who I've known for 23 years, and we didn't know all this time that we both knew Henry. Um, <laughs> He was a colleague, uh, my neighbor Rudy and his wife Anna, who are colleagues of Henry's from Lawrence Berkeley Lab and all those years. That, so I'm sure there's many connections to be made here today and that's something that Henry would also love. So cell phones, flash phones, streaming live. And um, I guess I would just say that uh, in order to fully appreciate uh, Henry's life, we'll just we also, as Patrice said, this is a chance for you to meet each other and get a chance to meet his family, and we'll be hearing from a lot of folks, and hopefully you'll come leave here today as you always did when you were in the presence of, of Henry, meeting someone new, learning something new, and possibly learning about some new technology. <laughs> when uh, I know Henry will be here if we have to change things around, because as he used to, uh, we would leave for work at from work at six or seven the afternoon or the evening and come back the next day and he would have uh, reinstalled all the computers, rewired all the technology and moved all the desks. <laughs> so if after intermission you find that everything has changed, it's just, um, you know, it's just the way it is. <laughs> okay, well without uh, further ado, in order to bring you a little further into the uh, experience of the work that Henry did over the years, please welcome Patrice Winchester who worked with the Dakin family for many, many years. The last couple of months have been pure pleasure for me and uh, the outpouring of everyone's heart and love and uh, eagerness to come together again has just really moved me. And I'm very happy to be here with all of you. Um, so, you know, how do you distill down 24 years of working with someone? You know, it's very difficult, so anyway, I had to write something, so I'm just gonna read it. Words cannot express how grateful I am to have worked with Henry over the last 24 years. During these many years, I had the extraordinary good fortune to learn from and work side by side with someone who over time would become for me the best man I have ever known. Henry was not only extremely well-educated and possessed a profound intellect, but his graciousness, dignity, and basic respect and consideration for others, no matter their station in life, set him apart. But more than that, it was his humility that truly distinguished him, especially in this age of celebrity worship and media hype. Henry was boundlessly curious about the world and took an interest in a vast array of people and ideas. The evidence is in this room. All of us gathered here and in the amazing number of organizations he helped foster and generously supported during the last four decades. To call Henry a philanthropist does not do justice to his life's work. He took philanthropy into a unique and unprecedented dimension. As Apollo 9 astronaut Rusty Schweikert said recently, 
Henry leaves a very special Henry-shaped hole in the universe. Some of the organizations and events Henry sponsored or hosted include Apple Computers Multimedia Lab, Amnesty International, Association of Space Explorers, Astrology.com, Berkeley Leningrad Sister City Project, California Institute of Integral Studies, Center for Citizen Initiatives, Collective Heritage Institute and Bioneers, Cultural Conservancy, Church of Shambhala, Damanhur, Data Fusion, Democratic Socialists of America, Doctors Without Borders, The Dolphin Network, Earth First, Earth Island Institute, the Elmwood Institute, the Energy Foundation, Esalen Soviet American Exchange Program, Foundation for Social Innovations, and Friends of Calligraphy, Global Space Bridge of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, the Gorbachev Foundation, Heart to Heart, Information Moscow, Institute for Global Communications, Institute of Noetic Sciences, International Space Sciences Organization, Internews, Link TV, Mendocino Environmental Center, Mother Jones Magazine, New Dimensions Radio, Nuclear Free Native American Lands, Pachamama Alliance, Parapsychology Research Group, PeaceNet, Peace Child, Physicians for Social Responsibility, Rainforest Action Network, Sane Freeze, San Francisco AIDS Foundation, San Francisco Moscow Teleport, San Francisco Tesla Society, San Francisco Waldorf School, San Francisco Zen Center, Sound Photosynthesis, Soviets Meet Middle America, Threshold Foundation, Tibetan Cultural Preservation Project, Tides Foundation, Tuolumne River Trust, US USSR Youth Exchange Program, the Weight Group, Washington Research Institute, WorldLink, and many, many more.